Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to calculate the pipe size. Okay, pipe sizing and selection of the water supply pipe. So before we start the session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So here we have a system like uh, this is the underground water tank and uh, this is the overhead tank and here we have a pump so with the help of this pump water is transferring from underground tank to overhead tank so from here it will distribute the water towards the plumbing fixture okay that is wash basin shower bathtub it is here okay now here this is the pipe from the pump to overhead okay this pipe so now we are going to calculate the pipe dia means pipe size this pipe size okay so to calculate the pipe size so we have to follow the steps some steps okay so these are first we have to know the discharge or flow rate value q which is cubic meter per hour meter cube per hour okay then convert this cubic meter per hour into cubic into cubic meter meter cube per second then we have to know the velocity of the water which are flowing through this pipe then finally calculate the pipe size as per this formula so this is q equal to av where q is the water flow or discharge a is the cross sectional area of the pipe and P is the velocity. Now let's follow this step. So in step 1 what we have to do? We have to know the value of the Q that is discharge or flow rate. So basically what is flow rate? It means if our capacity tank capacity is 20 kL ok if our peak hour is 4 hours if we we'll divide it 20 divided by 4 it will become how much 5 meter cube per hour so this pump if we are going to select the pump having discharge like 5 meter cube per hour means this tank will fill up with the it will take how much to fill it 5 hours so here in this scenario so in this case suppose let's take a Q value is 3.6 meter cube per hour ok now convert this meter cube per hour to meter cube per second so what is the value 3.6 meter cube per hour let's convert it into meters cubic meter per second so let's divide it by 3600 which is 60 by 60 if you calculate it it will become 0.001 meter cube per second so up to here q we got it in meter cube per second so in step 3 so here we have to take the velocity of this water okay so in this case there are two types of the velocity first one is pressure velocity when we are going to transfer the water with the help of pump it means we are providing pressure okay if we are going to distribute the water by gravity it means that is gravity velocity okay so in this case what we are going to do we are going to transfer the water from underground tank to overhead tank with the help of this pump that's why it is pressure velocity. so the value of the pressure velocity is 1.25 in case of gravity velocity will take 0.75 meter per second okay so in this case let's take a 1.25 meter per second which is pressure velocity four now calculate the pipe size of time meter so already we got q value which is 0.001 meter cube per second then v is 1.25 meter cube per second and this is the q equal to av which is the formula so q is the discharge then B is the velocity and A is the cross-sectional area of the pipe. So here Q equal to 
what is the formula for cross sectional area so this is the formula for cross sectional area pi divided by 4 and d square where d is the diameter of the pipe okay so here we are going to calculate the diameter of the pipe actually it is a pipe size so for that got this if we calculate it it will become 0 0.785 then d so our aim is to calculate the d so let's bring it this side and then q divided by 0 0.785 into v so now let's put the value so 0 0.01001 divided by 0 0.785 v is 1.25 after calculating we'll get the square is equal to 0 0.001019 now d is a square root of 0 0.00109 if you calculate it it will become 0 0.031 this is in meter okay now let's convert this into mm so 0 0.031 divided by 1000 it will become 31 okay so this is our pipe dia so this is the pipe size as per calculation so so this size this the calculated one size of the pipe will might not get in a market that's why we have to select it as per the available size in the market so for that this is the table where we have the pipe range which are available in the market like a 15 20 25 32 and 40 50 and 65 80 100 and 125 and 150 200 so from here which is our calculated one is 31 m 31 mm so which is near about to 32 always go for higher than calculated values 32 so our pipes finally our pipe size is 32 mm okay so this pipe size is 32 mm so in this way we can calculate the pipe dia of the water supply pipe so hope you guys understand about how to calculate the pipe size okay by using the formula of q equal to a v so q is the discharge and a is cross sectional area and v is velocity okay so thank you for watching this video please like share and comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video